third and goal. Brady takes the snap. Here's the blitz. Rolls to the right. Fires to the right. It is intercepted in the end zone. Up to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Left sideline, 35, 40. Heading all the way down the sideline. Foot race. Bailey stepped out of a tackle. Champ Bailey, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Did he get there? He's hit out of bounds, I think, at the 1. Ben Watson shows the hustle. Doesn't give up on the play. If I would have dogged it, I don't even know that Coach Belichick would have said anything because we lost the game, and it was the last game of the season. If I dogged it, I would have to deal with it myself. Some of my college coach used to tell me was that stuff like that doesn't take a whole bunch of talent. It's just effort. Where did he come from? <laughs> Where did he come from? And we didn't know until replays. We saw Ben was on the other side of the field, so he basically had to run like 120 yards, even longer than that, to get that. Did Ben Watson really run 120 yards? Maybe even longer than that. How far did he actually go in order to run down one of the NFL's fastest players, Champ Bailey? Well, was Teddy Bruschi right? Why don't we find out by using a little bit of math? Before we can do any calculations, we have to come up with some numbers. These numbers will help us figure out how far Ben Watson actually ran. Looking at this photo, we can see exactly where Watson started the play. We can also see where Champ Bailey is, and we'll get to him a little bit later. We're going to approximate where Watson is standing at the start of this play, which should be good enough for the problem that we're doing. It looks like Watson is standing roughly on the 9-yard line, so let's call it that. Ben's on the 9-yard line. He's also standing right at the numbers, and we need a bit more information to figure out how far he is from the sideline here. According to the NFL rulebook, the bottom of the numbers starts 12 yards in from the sideline. The height of the numbers themselves are 2 yards apiece, and Ben is standing roughly in the middle of those. So let's say he is 13 yards from the sideline. The other number we need to know is the width of the field. According to the NFL rulebook, the width of the field is to be 160 feet, which is 53 and a third yards. To make things easier, we're also going to assume that Watson tackled Bailey right at the corner of the field of play, right at the goal line, on the sidelines out of bounds. With this information, we can start trying to figure out how far Ben Watson actually ran to tackle Champ Bailey on this amazing play. Now, if you think you know how to do this problem right now without any further help, go ahead and pause the video. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to walk through how we actually solve this problem using math. In order to solve this problem, we're going to create a right triangle and then use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the hypotenuse is of this triangle so we can see how far Watson actually ran. Well, the base of the triangle is fairly easy. We know Ben Watson was on the 9-yard line or thereabouts, and the whole football field is 100 yards from goal line to goal line. So we're going to call the base of the triangle 91 yards. From sideline to sideline, it's 53 and a third yards, and Watson was roughly about 13 yards in, so that makes the height of the triangle 40 and a third yards. And now it's time to do some calculations to figure out what the hypotenuse is of this right triangle which gives us how far Watson actually ran on this play. The Pythagorean theorem says the base of the triangle squared plus the height of the triangle squared is equal to the hypotenuse of the triangle squared. Or, in more familiar terms, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We know what a is, the base, is 91 yards. We know what b is, the height, or 40 and a third yards. What we now have to do is we have to square it and do some arithmetic. Go ahead and pause the video, grab your calculator, and figure out what 91 squared is and what 40 and a third squared is. 91 squared is 8,281, and 40 and a third squared is 1,626.7 repeating. Add those numbers up and you get 9907.7 repeating or we're just going to call it 9907.778. This is equal to c squared. 
But in order to get what c is, we need to take the square root of both c and 9907.778. And when we do that, we find out that the hypotenuse of the triangle is around 99 and a half yards, 99.54. I'm rounding a little bit here. So Watson's run wasn't the 120 yards that Teddy Bruschi thought it was. It was 99 and a half yards, almost the full length of a football field. And just because he didn't have to run 120 yards to chase down Champ Bailey, that in no way diminishes the effort and the hustle that Ben Watson had on his play, basically saving a touchdown at that point. Now, how far did Champ Bailey actually run? I'm going to let you try to do this on your own. Let's say that Champ Bailey was one yard deep in the end zone, and he was about five yards off the sideline. I'm going to put the answer to this question in the description. Good luck. Try this on your own. Hope you enjoyed this.